I don't know which part this is, but we're continuing on with Pokemon Yellow. Hello, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the training session from last video, because god damn, I did not. I didn't enjoy it at all. But hey, it was a necessary evil in order to make the rest of the game easy, because... The next gym is Lieutenant Surge, and I'm not looking forward to that. Is it you? Hi, do you have a Cubone? Want to trade it for a Machoke? This is the one. This is the one I want. That's the trade we have to do. Unfortunately, we need a Cubone. Where can I get Cubone? When's the earliest I can get Cubone? I know there's Cubones in Pokemon Tower. Pokemon Tower is probably the earliest we can get Cubone, actually. Never mind. So, we're gonna have to get a Cubone at Pokemon Tower and then come back here. And then I'm gonna do that trade for Machoke. Um, who's up front right now? Is it... It's Kyle. Let's throw Victor up front. Because... I... Be, just because. Anyway. Weepin' Bell. Good thing I kept Victor up. Victor, when do you learn a better Fire-type move? Because Ember is great and all, but you could also learn Flamethrower. Like, that would be an amazing move if you can learn that, you know? I'm training for my love. Don't bother me. I'm gonna bother you. Because I have Pokemon I also want to train. You are gonna train them for me. Got it? You have a Cubone! Can I have your Cubone? Please may I have your Cubone. Lenny, this is gonna be your first actual battle. Don't disappoint me. Let's use Bubble Beam. Let's fucking go, Lenny. I'm so glad I have Lenny now. Lenny can actually do some battles. I'm so happy right now. You have no idea how happy I am. You're the one with the Butterfree, right? I've never seen you around. Are you good? I guess we'll have to see. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Kill this... Don't put me to sleep. <sighs> you bastard. Ah, uh, you bastard. Woke up, but I'm confused now. Is confused. Hurt itself. Of course you did. Of fucking course you hurt me. And you're poisoning me? Butterfree, take a hike. What the fuck? Stop it. Hurt by poison. That's not cool. Supersonic. That's not cool. Is confused. Hurt itself. Of fucking course. Hate this game. There we go. Oh, Victor. Oh, Victor. I wish you didn't get poisoned right now. Because there are still two trainers up ahead. You are not fighting them. I will have Mel fight them. Because you are poisoned and we need to get to a Pokemon Center as soon as possible. Because these guys are going to want to fight. Yep. Alright. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Will you play? What game are we playing? Chess? Checkers? Digimon? Pokemon? Temtem? You guys remember Temtem? That was a weird game. No damage. Double slap, all the damage. Come on, hit it five times. Three. Ah, uh, three times. Alright, segment. Si si <laughs> Seismic Toss. I know how to speak English. It is just a hard language, okay guys? English is very hard to understand. Don't you know? This is Kyle. Kyle's got this, Pidgey. No problem. Thundershock. I wish you could learn Thunderbolt. Apparently, the only unique, like, probably the only unique thing about this Pikachu. Aside from it being able to follow you and all the emotions and shit. You learn Thunderbolt really early. So, we will get that very soon. Hopefully. Just didn't work. Nope. And what do you want? Huh? You want to talk to me? No, you approached me. Let's get that out of the way first. You approached me. And you are fighting me. Because you're the one that came up to me. I didn't... This is not... This is non-consensual. Alright, I didn't consent to this battle. Let's see how much damage Seismic Toss does. Yeah, you know what? I, I see Seismic Toss being extremely useful, especially since 
I don't think it's affected by Growl. He growled me like twice, and I don't think it was affected at all. That's so interesting. Mel, I'm so glad you're here, and I'm so glad I gave you Seismic Toss. This is going to be an interesting team. Raticate. Okay, I'm a little scared of this thing. How much does Seismic Toss does? D does? How much does Seismic Toss do to it? Eww. Uh. Decaf. You can take care of this thing. Mel's not ready for it. That's a little scary, not gonna lie. Hyper Fang, double kick. See, no problem. No problem. I'm so happy. Like, I don't know why I'm so happy that Mel actually ended up working out for the team. Something about just a Clefairy in this team makes me really happy. For some reason. Like, I'm just... I don't know how to put it. Like, it's just amazing how it's working out so well. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. We hope to see you again. I hope I don't see you again. Not in this town, at least. Wait, this is the guy that gives us the rod, correct? You give us a rod? The fishing guru, I simply love fishing. Do you like fishing? Sure. Take this. Old Rod. Alright, we're not going to use that. We already have our own magic carp. I paid $500 for him. I'm going to make sure that $500 is worth it. This person gives us Squirtle. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Alright, clearly not me. Clearly she's not talking about me since she's not giving me the, 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 the fucking option. I know how to use English very fucking well. Look, our Pikachu likes Clefairy. We have our own Clefairy Pikachu. You can fall in love with her. Leave that one alone. She cle She's clearly not interested in you. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're in love. She's not interested. I hate to say. She is not interested at all. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I have more than 100 Pokemon. I love them all. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come to hear my me brag about my Pokemon? Sure. Good then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. A cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it. When sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. We got the bike voucher. Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry, my Firo will fly me anywhere. So I don't need a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. We will do that very soon. We're not going to go up just yet because we have to go back up anyway. So I will do that uh, later. We have to hit up the SS Ann first. Should we do that right now? Uh, yeah, let's do the SS Ann right now. Welcome to SS Ann. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? I flashed him. Great, welcome to SS Ann. Awesome. We're on a boat. Time to kill everyone on this boat. The passengers are restless. You might be challenged by the by more bored ones. Jesus. There is one in here that will heal me, right? Or is that not until later games? Anyway, we are going to fight every single trainer on this boat before we do what we're actually supposed to do on here. We're going to fight every single one because if we don't fight them, we won't get the chance to fight them after the fact. So let's fight them now. Uh, Kyle will be up front because I believe all the trainers here do have water types. Hello, stranger. Stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. See, I told you. Water types. Fisherman wants to fight. He's got a tentacle. Tentacle's a cool Pokemon. <laughs> Am I right? He's... Anyway. Hopefully Kyle can easily take out the Pokemon here without any issue. Except when he gets wrapped. That sucks. But I still believe in you, Pikachu! How did you not kill it? Awesome. Critical hit. Love to see that. See, this is the kind of stuff I expect from Kyle. Once we get Thunderbolt, easy game. Becomes an easy game at that point. I'm also really glad I did take them all up to level 20 because uh, this would be kind of unbearable. 
at level 16. Darn, I let that one get away. Sucks for you, I guess. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. You guys have a plank? On a yacht? This is a yacht, right? What is the SS Ann? That's a, that's a fighting type? If only we had flying type moves. Am I right? Uh, yeah, I don't trust Kyle in front of this much up. I'm just going to throw decap at him. Karate chop. We're fine. Thrash. That's what I like to see. That's the damage I always like to see. Please do more of that. Are you a trainer? Us sailors have Pokemon too. Wow! I would not have expected Pokemon from a sailor in the Pokemon world. No. Acid. Fence fell, we're fine. Thundershock again. Poison Sting, we're fine. Thundershock again. Awesome. Star you. Kyle, get another critical hit. Just so the just so the star you can die. Alright, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Thank you, Kyle. That's a badass of you. I have to say. Uh rest. Interesting. Um, everyone can learn rest, but who would benefit it the most? Do we even really need rest? Uh, I'll hold on to it for now. I don't think anyone would really benefit from rest. Because berries aren't even a thing in the- Fuck, held items aren't even a thing in this game, so yeah. I like feisty kids like you. I'm not feisty. Don't call me feisty. You're the feisty one. Thundershock. See? Easy game. When Kyle just gets critical hits like that, it's an easy game. Wait, I just remembered. <laughs> I just remembered. I think I know why Kyle keeps getting crits. Um, if I remember correctly, I might just be talking out my ass. The higher the speed stat of a Pokemon, the more likely they get crits. I think that's how that works. If I remember correctly. So that's why jo Pokemon like Jolteon and Electrode are really good in this game. Because the higher the speed stat, the more crits you get. That, it's just that simple. You'd be a fool not to use them. So guess who's the fool that's sticking with Pikachu? <laughs> Who even is my fastest Pokemon right now? Probably Pikachu. I'm probably gonna have to heal Kyle very soon. He's getting close to low. I would really like it if I could just heal on the boat, but that's probably not an option I have. I do have some potions. I should have used a couple of them. Nah, Kyle's fine, actually. Kyle'll be fine. See? Level 23, we're out of the red. Tentacles coming out? No problem. My chunky ass Pikachu will take care of it. No problem. He's supersonic, but it failed. Good. Get out of here. Although this doesn't... Wait, we have an ether, don't we? We have two ethers. Let's restore Thundershock. You know what they say about sailors and fighting? Drunken sailors? What? I don't know what they say about sailors and fighting. Please tell me. What do they say about sailors and fighting? Don't confuse me. Why is everything trying to confuse me? Get out of here. Uh, one more door? Last door. Are you not a trainer? Max Potion. That's very nice. Are you not a trainer? My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Good for him. Good for him. I'm proud of him. We'll get one ourselves soon. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm not intimidated by his Machoke. Uh, nah. I wasted. I wasted potions and an ether. We don't need to leave. Travel alone on my journeys. My Pokemon are my only friends. 
That's kind of depressing, man. Gotta say, that's kind of depressing. Oh, that's a- oh, that's a fire type. Hold on, Lenny can take care of this one. Right, Lenny? You got this. I believe in you. R oh. Lenny is unaffected, bitch! Lenny is unaffected by your roar! Get out of here! Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Another Growlithe? Get him out of here. Douse him. Put the fire out. Not afraid of any dog. I got a dragon. I got two dragons, actually. They're not dragon type, but they're based on dragons. You pup, how dare you barge in? I mean, it's an RPG. It's just okay to do those things, you know? You gotta understand the, the world you live in. I think Kyle can take this thing out. But nah, I'm gonna have Mel do it. I want Mel to get some XP. Horn attack. Mel's not afraid of that. Seismic toss. I did hit seismic toss, right? I didn't misclick? Okay, good. Damn. That's not doing as much damage as I wish it did. Please don't poison Mel. If I... If, Mel gets poisoned, I have to go to the Pokemon Center, and I don't want to do that. Thank you for not poisoning. Oh, come on. Don't miss Double Slap now. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. What's next? Nina ran again. Uh, Seismic Toss. Scratch. We're fine. Seismic Toss. All right, I'm switching. Let's uh, throw Victor. Victor hasn't had uh, any battle in the SSN yet, I don't think. Poison Sting, don't poison him. That's a crit. Ah, you bitch. All right, you're hitting this dig. Double kick, missed, dig. Awesome. <laughs> you rude child. I'm not rude. I'm... Doing my best. Yep. That that's what I'm going with. I'm doing my best. Alright, what what was the door we finished? It was this one, right? Yeah, we we just fought him. So let's go to the next one. The next one. Hello, are you a trainer? Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. I'm not a waiter. Can't you see I have a Pikachu? Do you think a waiter would have a Pikachu? Probably not. I always travel with Wigglytuff. You got a Wigglytuff? That's badass. A cruise is so elegant, yet cozy. If you say so. Oh, everyone here is a trainer. We are cruising around the world. Okay, I thought you were a trainer. <laughs> this guy's a trainer. I love Pokemon, do you? Sure, let's go with that. Love is a strong word, you know? Nina ran male. Kyle, uh, Thundershock it. That didn't do a lot of damage. Um, how about Slam? You want to hit Slam? Of course you don't. You never want to hit Slam. Why did I teach you Slam? That's what I want to see. Or not. God damn, Kyle, really? You're gonna have to make me waste potions because you're your dumbass. Wow, you're great! Thanks, I try my best. TM08, let's see what that is. While I also go heal. TM08 is Body Slam. A way more better move than Slam, but I'm gonna give it to Mel. Wait. Let me check Mel. Uh, Mel. Let me check Mel. Is Mel a physical or a special? Mel's a special. Mel's a special attacker. That's interesting. Because all the moves Mel has... And all the moves Mel can learn are physical types. This doesn't work out that well for you, doesn't it, Mel? Well, even still, I'm going to give it to Mel because, uh... Stab. Because of Stab. Let's get rid of... Sing. Let's get rid of... Mega Punch, actually, yeah. I think Body Slam is a way better move than Mega Punch. Alright, and then we can fight you. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. 
Have you been to Johto? Have you been to Hoenn? Have you been to Sinnoh? Because if you say all around the world and you only have a Pidgey? Come on. You've, you have seen way more interesting Pokemon than a Pidgey. Like, if you've been all around the world, you've probably seen Starly, right? How can you ignore Starly? Alright, another Nidoran. I'm gonna throw Mel at it. Hopefully Mel doesn't get absolutely destroyed this time. Body Slam. That's damage right there. We like to see that. That's damage. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. That's what we like to see. I wonder if Seismic Toss is suspected by his stab. It pro probably not, actually. It always does fix damage, so it probably isn't affected by stab. The only reason why I'm thinking about that now is because, uh, you know, I'm planning to get my choke in this team. Can't really do that. Can't really give it Seismic Toss when I just gave Mel Seismic Toss. But regardless, I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Uh, you're the guy that shows me what Snorlax is, huh? Like this one. It was something like this. Snorlax. Awesome. We will run into our own Snorlax in the future. Check out what I fished up. Golding. Tentacool. Magikarp. Dugong. Shelter. Ah, Goldane. Okay. There are a lot of Water-type Pokemon in just Gen 1, huh? Damn, I didn't even think about that. Like, that makes sense. The most common type of any Pokemon is the Water-type. There are just so many goddamn Water-type Pokemon. You know... <laughs> okay, this is fucked up. A Pokemon game where the region is based on California. <laughs> And the bad guy team is just forcing a drought. <laughs> is that fucked up? Is that fucked up? I think it's funny. G give an excuse to not have any, to, to not create any new water type Pokemon. Just so we can have abundance of other types of Pokemon, you know? I'm trying to think. There's, there weren't that many Pokemon, water type Pokemon introduced in, uh... Gen 5, right? I can only think of Basculin and the Seismitoad line. And the starter, of course. Try and think. Basculin, Seismitoad, Oshawott. Uh... Alola Mola. Yeah, I can't really... Nothing really... Hopping in the old noggin right now about water types in Gen 5. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to think about it a bit more. But hey, Victor's level 22. Thank you for giving us an easy time here, Victor. We got a max ether. Let's leave. How many more doors of this level are there? None of you are trainers, right? Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Ah, oh, yes, I have some. I have seen some Pokemon fairy people across the water nice and then this one trainers are in this yeah these are trainers no doubt these are trainers which do you like a strong or a rare pokemon i just like cool pokemon you know pokemon that i think personally are pretty cool like absol's pretty cool have you seen an absol i doubt you have because you live in kanto um draco's cool okay Fun fact about that, actually, um, I know for a lot of people who play through Pokemon, they tend to stick with one particular type for their starters, right? Like, for the majority of them, they'd either pick a fire type for their journey, or they pick a water type. And it's usually between those two, right? Because the grass type of every generation isn't great, right? Like, not only does it, is it, like, the lesser of the three... Sometimes they just straight up suck. <laughs> I picked grass type for the majority of my journeys. Like, I can't exactly remember. I have terrible memory. And I can't exactly remember what my first Pokemon game was. I just know it was a Gen 3 game. 
So, I just remember for Fire Red or Leaf Green, whichever one I played, uh, my first Pokemon was Bulbasaur. That was the one I picked as my first ever Pokemon. If it was Sapphire and Ruby, it was Trico. And I just kept picking grass types from then on. Diamond Pearl, I picked Turtwig. Black and white, I picked Snivy. Uh, let's give this rare candy to Mel. The sooner Mel learns Metronome, the sooner I will evolve her. You're not trainers, right? Have you gone to the Safari Zone? No. Hot take. I actually really like the Safari Zone in Pokemon games. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. None of you are trainers. Captain looked really sick and pale. I hear many people got seasick. That's the captain's fault if many people got seasick. But if it's just him... What kind of captain gets seasick? Anyway, uh, time to meet our lovable bastard, Brian. Bonjour, Kinzo. Imagine seeing you here. Kinzo, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in the grassy areas. Was that offensive? Brian wants to fight. You're... Alright, Brian, I hate to do this to you, but I'm gonna kill your Spiro. Gonna murder it, even. Look at that! One hit. One hit. Let's go. Rattata. I'm gonna send Mel at this thing. I believe Mel will be able to easily take out this Rattata. Seismic Toss. One more. Awesome. I'm so glad Mel is doing really well. Like, I'm, I don't know why, it just makes me happy that Mel is doing great. And Mel's not just a wasted slot. Picking her and actually paying off, that's great. That's awesome. I wasn't expecting her to work out, but she's surprisingly working out very well. Level 21. Alright, Eevee. You still have your Eevee? You haven't evolved it yet. Um, I will send Decaf at it. I just realized Kyle's now the highest level Pokemon at level 25. I didn't even... When did that happen? <laughs> this entire, uh, cruise? Oh, you're dead. I'm sorry, Eevee. That's a dead. Oh, you're alive. That's interesting. You sand attacked, but it failed. You know what? I'm gonna kill you a poison sting just because of that. <laughs> oh, let's go. Get out of here, Brian. <laughs> At least you're raising your Pokemon. I find it really cool. Very, very tiny touch. But every time you fight Brian, his sprite changes. Not every time, but his sprite changes over the course of you playing the game. It shows him growing. Anyway, I heard there was a Cut Master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya! Do I stink? Do I need a shower? I have been on this cruise ship for a while. Probably do need a shower, even. Anyway, what's up? I feel hideous. <laughs> Seasick. Rub the captain's back. Rub, rub. You, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. You know, you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. Awesome. We got HM01. Uh, who's going to be the unlucky bastard that learns cut? We'll have to see once we get off this ship because I need to hit the Pokemon Center. There it goes. Goodbye. Farewell. We'll never see these trainers ever again. It's taking its fucking time. Get the fuck out of here. Awesome. All right. I still... Okay, there we go. Alright, who's the unlucky bastard that gets to learn cut? Who is it? It's gonna be... I was about to say Ralph, but we're not keeping Ralph. How many times do we need cut? 
We need cut for a lot of things, right? We need cut to get into gem three. We need cut to progress after this. We need cut after Diglett Cave. We need cut to get through that one area to the right of the Safari Zone. We need cut for... What else do we need cut for? I'm not sure what else we need cut for. Maybe we don't need cut that often. So I'm just going to teach it to Ralph. Ralph learned cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop some things off in the PC so we have more room in our bag. Because we do actually have an inventory limit. And I don't want to hit that. Nope, I did not mean to hit Bill's PC. Kinzo's PC. Deposit. HM01. Stored. Yeah, store the town map too. We don't need it. Um, store this. That's absolutely useless now. We don't need the old rod anymore, so get that in there. And yeah, I'm also going to put the dome fossil in here because we're not going to be able to use that for the longest time. 